Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Hi, everyone. Let's see. Melissa Arely. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I very fine. All right, well, how was your day? Um, my day is uh, interesting. Oh. Uh, for my husband, uh, go to the COVID vaccine. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. You got the vaccine. Uh, who do you say, accompany? I went with him. Okay. All right, that's nice. Does he feel well after it? Yes, I, I will. Okay. All right, that's very nice. And you have not gotten it, Melissa. You have not gotten the vaccine? No. Not yet, okay. No. no. Mm -hmm. All right, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Luis Enriquez, good, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Everything good, teacher. Okay. How was your day? Uh, a busy day. A lot of work. You had a busy one? Okay. Yeah. Was it all right? Yeah. It's okay. all right. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Let me see. Maria del Carmen. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Maria? Very good. Okay, excellent. How was your day? My day is working. Okay. So you had a busy day. Excuse me? You had a busy day. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. All right, good, Maria del Carmen. Um, let me see, Manuel Aristides. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you today? How do you feel? Uh, good, bien. You feel better? Yeah. Yes, yes, mejor, oh, okay. mejor. All right, I'm glad to hear that. How has your day been? Uh, what? How was your day? Oh, uh, uh, the, the rest, uh, I rest in, in my home. Um, he checked the emails uh, in, in, in the afternoon. Okay, that is nice. Mm -hmm. Very well. Um, Nancy Carolina, good evening. Hello, Nancy. Check your microphone, please. Can you have a... Okay, Good evening. don't worry. Good evening. How are you? Uh, well, I'm very fine. Okay, nice. And tell me, how was your day? Um, I was the clinic. Oh, okay. So is everything fine? Yes. yes. Yeah, I uh, examined the routine. Oh, okay. All right. That's fine. I hope everything is well. And let me okay. see Luis Carlos Guevara. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Luis Carlos? Uh, fine. Okay, how was your day? Um, 
sé cómo se dice tranquilo, normal. Was quiet. Quiet. Okay. All right, that's nice. Did you have to work or study today? Um, ambas. Both. Okay. All right. What do you study? Uh, graphic design. Okay. And what do you do for work? Uh, trabajo. Mm -hmm. Es de Uber. Oh, all right. All right. That's interesting. Very well. Okay. Let me see. Julia Maritza. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Julia? I'm fine, teacher. Good. How was your day? Very busy today, teacher. I but I uh, interesting, but I talking with much people. Oh, okay. You talk to many people. Yes, Whoa. teacher. Was that at work? Yes, teacher. Oh, all right. That's very nice. And yes. how about the platform, Julia Maritza? Have you had time to continue working? Uh, no, teacher, I not continue it working the platform, but I not have a little time. But tomorrow okay. I will continue for okay. the finish in the morning. Okay. All right, that's fine, Julia Maritza. I hope you can finish tomorrow so you are on time with everything. Okay, it's thank you, teacher. teacher. Um, yes, this somebody eh, told me. Yo, yo ya terminé la, la, la plataforma, pero hay dos, dos preguntas que, por más que he tratado, no, no, no me salen bien. Entonces, no sé si más noche o mañana le puedo escribir. Para... Sure, sure. sure. Um, yeah, send me a okay. message and I'll help you with that. No problem. Okay. All right, and um, let me see Carla Iris. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Carla? I, I'm fine, teacher, thanks. Okay, very well. How was your day? I had a good day. You had a good one? I'm glad to hear that. What did you do today? Well, I'm happy because I finished the platform. <laughs> oh, you finished? Nice. Congratulations. Yeah. That's such a good, good news. Okay. Thanks. All right. Very well, Carla. Thanks. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Let me see Maria Jose Martinez. Good evening. Good evening, Tisha. How are you? Fine, Tisha. I'm fine. Okay, very good. How was your day? Uh, very good, teacher. I visited um house in my mom. Okay, you visited your mom. Nice. Mm -hmm. Your mom. All right, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. And how about Jennifer Noemi? How are you, Jennifer? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How's everything? Um, I'm fine. Okay, nice. How was your day? Um, I had a lot of work. Okay, you had a busy day. All right, that's okay. Mayra um, Villorio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Mayra? How are you today? I had a great day. Red oh. work and relax. Oh, nice. You had some time to relax. What did you do to relax? Just resting or did you do something special? Resting. Resting, okay. Yes. All right, I'm glad to hear that you are relaxed now. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, teacher. All right, great. Nice to meet you. Thank you. 
Um, all right, let me start with the attendance right now. And okay, so we can start with our class. Today is Tuesday the 8th. Okay. Ingrid Carolina. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Noemi. Thank you. Jocelyn Asiria. <coughs> Jocelyn Asiria Romero. Okay. Joana Raquel Cortez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Joana. Julia Maritza Bautista. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Elizabeth Calderón. Present teacher. Thanks, Karen. Karen Stephanie Argueta. Karen Stephanie Argueta. Okay. Carla Iris Martinez. Present teacher. Okay. Carla Vanessa González. Present teacher. Thank you. Katia Lisbeth. Present teacher. Thanks. Cristian Magdalena. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Christian. Luis Alberto Enriquez. Present teacher. Thanks. Luis Alonso Mendoza. Present. Okay, Luis Carlos Guevara. Present. Luz Marina Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Lorena Portillo. <coughs> Present teacher. Thanks. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Present, Miss. Thanks. Eh, Marco Antonio Ramírez. Marco Antonio Ramírez. Present, teacher. Okay. Present, Mariana. teacher. I got you, Marco. Thanks. María del Carmen Jorge. Present. Okay. María José Abrego. Present, teacher. Good. María José Martínez. María José Martínez. Present, teacher. Okay. Marlene Guadalupe Berríos. Present, teacher. Thank you, Marlene. Marta Lilian Guevara. Present. All right. Marvin Joseph. Present, teacher. Okay, thanks. Mayra Roxana Vilorio. La batería no sirve. Mayra Roxana Vilorio. Okay. Melissa Arely Guardado. Present. Thanks. Melvin Antonio López. Present teacher. Thank you. Milagro Elizabeth Mira. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Carolina. Nancy Carolina. <laughs> Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, Nancy. Oscar Giovanni Ortega. Present teacher. Thanks. And Jose Atilio Flores. Jose Atilio Flores. Okay. All right. So let's start with our session. So today we'll continue talking about the past, right? And in order to continue with that, we are going to uh, talk about our perfect vacation. So this is an activity that I want you to do in small groups. The only thing that you have to do is to imagine that you have had a perfect vacation. So how was it? You start by saying, I had a perfect, a perfect vacation. I went to the Bahamas. I went there with my family. We swam with dolphins. And we stayed in a beautiful hotel. We took the sun. We ate some delicious food. I mean, just imagine that you had a perfect vacation and tell your classmates about that. Okay, so just think about it. Where did you go? What did you do? Uh, who did you go with? And I mean, 
all the details, right? So you keep talking as much as you can. Any questions about this? No, it's only talking about your perfect vacation. Imagine that you had the perfect vacation that you dream about okay. and you tell your classmates about it. Okay, so I'm sending you to the breakout rooms and I'm going to give you, um, let's say eight minutes to share this. So you take turns sharing about your perfect vacation. I'll be visiting you. So let's go now. See you in a moment. I like it, the mm. beach. You dance samba? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Why? It's a perfect side, but para aprender, no sé cómo dice eso. To learn. <laughs> learn. <laughs> mm -hmm. So where did you go, Melissa? Uh, uh, Brazil. Oh, you went to Brazil. Sí, yeah, went to I Brazil. Went to Melbourne. Oh, oh, oh. You should have danced. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, I like the, the beaches, beach. Yeah. To Brazil. Uh, uh, oh. Mountains. Okay. Uh, Cristo. Uh, 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 Cristo. Uh, no sé cómo se llama. Cristo Redentor. Christ Redentor. Okay. All right, very uh, well. Mm -hmm. Perfect vacation is, is to go to Greece, 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 or, or is the mm -hmm. Suecia, come on in English, as it says. Sweden. Sweden. Oh, I've been there. I, I love it, the landscapes. Okay. So why, why Luis Carlos? Why would you like to visit those places? Este, ¿cómo me dicen que era Suiza? Sweden. Sweden uh, is a is a good place uh, for take take photos, and and I love take photos. Okay. All right, nice. Familiares. Yes? Bien. ¿Qué más le Comimos podemos... mariscos. ¿Cómo uh -huh. se dice mariscos? Eh, um... Ay. Seafood. 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 We, we ate seafood. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Do you enjoy with whom? our family. We can Or you're making a group vacation. Okay, entonces disfrutamos con nuestros Hi. Relatives. Eh, um, Relatives. Oh, classmates. Nuestros compañeros. Uh -huh. De. de oh Nuestros compañeros de vacación. De, uh -huh. Oh, 
In that case, our uh, travel companions. Compañeros de viaje. Travel companions. Travel companions. Ajá. Compañeros de viaje. Disfrutar es enjoy. Yeah, enjoy. What, uh, what my... Ay, ¿cómo que? What... Con nuestros compañeros... De viaje. Con, con nuestros compañeros de clase. Eh, compañeros de Class. clase, classmates. Classmates. Classes. Okay. Classmate. Okay. Entonces quedaría. I have. I have my. I have my vacation in Cancun. We en, Cancun. Enjoy. Enjoy. The beach. The beach. The beach. White. A white sand. White. Ay, no sé cómo se escribe. ¿Cómo se pronuncia el verbo comer en pasado? Eight. No es eight. 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 ¿Se pronuncia lo eight. mismo que eight? Okay. Yeah, eight. Like the delis eight delicious uh, seafood and mm -hmm. we enjoy white or class Yes. Hospital y Río Chiquito. Hospital y Río Chiquito. Así. Oh, the last year on winter, we went to the Pital Mountain. Ajá. It's um, a beautiful place. Vamos a ver si me sale aquí este volado. Ahí está. It's a wonderful. No quiero ver. Ahí Wonderful place. Lovely yeah. weather. Mm -hmm. Un clima It precioso. Has, uh, ¿Cómo se diría visto? It has a. Uh, sí. Beautiful. Vista, ¿Qué view. sería? View. view. It has a, a beautiful view. You to the no, so you see, uh, pardon, Chalatenango City. Then you would say of the Chalatenango City. It has a beautiful view to the to the Chalatenango oh. city. So it's really a teacher. Of the Chalatenango no. city. Of. Of. Yes. Of Chalatenango city. Yeah, you can use Chalatenango. 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 Hay que ponerle que mucho viento. A ver cómo es. Windy. Ah, sí. It is windy, windy or windy. it was windy. Windy. It's, it's very it's Okay, then you say the wind. So windy, wind. it would be the kind of weather. So okay. the place is windy, then we have the wind is very strong. Okay. okay. The wind okay. is very strong. Yes. Very strong. The wind is very strong. And, and means... Wind. Very, very cold. Cold. We need a cold. Thomas. We need it. Remember, you're talking in the past. We need it. Okay. We need it. a cold. And then at the beginning, excuse me, you would say last year in winter. Uh, in winter. 
Yeah, just let, like that. Last year in winter. You do not say in the last year, just last year. Last year. Yes. Only. We make delicious pupusas. Last year it's mm -hmm. winter. In winter, we in went winter. to the beach a long time. That's right. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. It has a beautiful view of the Chalate Mango City. The wind is very strong and very cold. Very cold. Yes. We need Did a cold. And ¿Qué más le ponemos? We ate delicious prendas. pupusas. Ah, no, pero de las mm -hmm. prendas. Se recuerda. And uh, ah, maybe yeah, socks and a scarf or something like that. Dang. Gloves, I don't know. Se me olvidado como se dice bufán. A scarf. Ah, scarf. Mm -hmm. scarf. Así era. Scarf. We need right? a coat, a scarf. Scarf and... with F at the end. Uh, hat. Hat. Perdón. Scarf Gorros. takes F at the end. Gorros. Gorros. And... Hat. 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 And hat. Yes, hat. And. We. Oui. Mm -hmm. Más. Más compañeros. We drank a coffee. Cup of coffee. We drank a hot coffee. Así verdad. Chocolate. Yo creo que van con en lugar de la U. Chocolate. ¿A dónde? ¿Dónde? Drink. Aquí. Drink. Drink. ¿Cómo se puede decir? Pan dulce. Como es pasado, es drunk. Y pan dulce. Hey. Good day. Yes. Okay. ¿Cómo se diría pan dulce, Tisha? Uh, sweet bread. Sweet bread. Sweet. Sweet bread. Sweet. 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 Chocolate and sweet bread. Sweet bread. Okay. ¿Qué más? We mm. ate. Unas mm. ricas, saludables pupusas. We pupusas. Ate. Pupusas. Yes. We ate rich. We ate rich pupusas. And delicious is better. Que no es eat. Eat. Lo que pasa es que estamos hablando en tiempo pasado. Oh. Entonces cambia el verbo. Ah, oh, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Okay. Rica es rich. Eh, rich. rich. Yeah, it's better to delicious. say delicious. Mm -hmm. In the case delicious. of food, we use delicious. Yep. We eat delicious. 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 It takes an O. It's de, de ayote. L I C I O U S. Yes, yes. O U S. Okay. Mm -hmm. We ate delicious pupusas. De ayote. Chicharrón. Ayote. Medio. From ayote. Okay, you could say pupusas of ayote, y chicharrón, and then you have many different ingredients. Se pone primero, se pone Camarón. primero el ingrediente. Um, Los tradicionales, yeah, I mean, mejor con cheese. Yo te voy a poner beans. Cochinito. En, ¿Qué más le ponemos? Beans and cheese. Okay. Cheese. All right. I'm getting out of here. You got one minute to finish this, okay? Okay. 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 All right. When the 60 seconds are done, okay, I see everybody's coming back.
So how were the vacations? Were they good? Yes? Yes, I could. <laughs> okay, where did you go? It's my perfect vacation. Okay. Where did you go? Where did everybody go? I go vacation in uh, Brazil. You went to Brazil? Okay, sounds yes. nice. Marta Lilian, where did you go? Uh, I travel to the United States. The United States? What places did you visit? Uh, I visited my parents. Uh, oh. They live in Maryland. Oh, all right. You went to Maryland. That's nice. Sounds great. And let me see, uh, Katia Elizabeth, where did you go? Um, uh, <laughs> what was it in English? <laughs> Try. I went to? I went to Cancun. Cancun, nice. Okay, what did you do in Cancun? Um, play volleyball. Mm -hmm. Ate ice cream and swimming. Okay, that sounds very nice and relaxing. Cool. And Marvin Joseph, tell me about your vacation. Uh, we went to the Pital Mountain. Okay, you went together with your classmates, right? Yes, okay. the last year in winter. All right, nice. Tell us about your trip. Uh, the place is wonderful. Mm -hmm. the, the wind is very, very strong. The, the weather is, is very cold. Okay. All right. Did you enjoy it? Excuse me, teacher. Did you enjoy it? Yes, we enjoyed. You did. All right. We drank a hot coffee, chocolate, and delicious pupusas. All right. Sounds pretty nice. Excellent. Okay, great. Now we're just taking a minute so we get the screenshots. Please everybody turn on your cameras. Cameras on so we can get the screenshots. All right, here we go. Okay, let me take the second one. Here we go with this. Here we go. Okay, I got it. Thanks. Now let's continue by talking a little bit about the past of B. Remember that yesterday we studied um, about the affirmative form, right? We, we said that we have was and where and how we use them in sentences. So let's learn about the negative term statements today. Everybody pay attention. Hi everyone. In this young, I wasn't born. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. 
You weren't very old. She was seventeen. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with B. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally, we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with B. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with B. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the U.S. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First, we'll add the subject they. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying we're not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement. And the uh, US in 1998. Now it's your turn to. Okay, so that is what we have for the negative of the past of B. And let's review it pretty quickly. So remember that yesterday we mentioned that we have a, two different forms for the past of B, right? 
They are was and where. So we use was for the subjects I, he, she, and it. We use where for the subjects you, we, and they. And then let's make some examples. Can you help me please? Help me make some examples. How do I make sentences using was or where? I was. I was. I was the cinema. In the cinema. All right. Nice. Another one. They weren't. They the weren't. Beach. They were in the beach. In the beach. Okay. Another one. Can you make another one using was or were? I was took took a photo. I was taking a photo. Okay. All right. So that is a different use for the past of B, but. It's okay, let's take it. Uh, so that would be, just to mention, that she would be- She was in the room. She was in the room, okay, good. Uh, let me write it. She was in the room. She was in the room. Okay. They were in my house. They were in my house. Right, any other? We, we were, were 17. We were? 17. 17, okay. All right, very good. We got plenty of examples and then go ahead. Okay, I just wanted to point out that this example, I was taking a photo is a different tense. So here we're talking about the simple past of be, was or were. And we said that we use a subject, then was or were, and then the complement. But here in this one, we're using the past progressive. So that's why we need another verb in the ing form. So just for you to, to take into account that it's a different tense, es un tiempo diferente, but still it takes was. So just for you to have an idea about it. Let's continue. Now, um, oh, let's see. Teacher, puede poner otro ejemplo así como ese, que acaba de dar más otro ejemplo, así como ese. Sure. Sí. Um, so we would say, for example, um, we were dancing. At the party. We were studying. We were studying for the exam. So, I, yeah. was, I was making, I was making the, the dinner. I was making dinner. Yep. So those are the examples. Uh, well, for the past, for the past progressive, the only thing you need is was or were plus a verb in ing. So it's mm -hmm. very simple, but uh, I mean, it's different from just a simple past. Okay, so let's continue with. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the past of be in the negative form. So remember that for the negative, we only add not. So we would have was not, I was not, he was not, she was not. It was not. And as mentioned in the video, we have the corresponding contracted form, which is wasn't. 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 And for the plural forms, for where, we say were not. You were not, we were not, they were not. And the contracted form is weren't. Everybody repeat, please, was not. 
was not. Was not. Was not. Was not. Was not. Wasn't. 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 Were not. Were, were not. Were not. Weren't. 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 Okay, and then how do we make sentences using the negative form of was and were? Well, it's pretty simple. You just need three elements. The subject, then was not or were not, or the contracted forms, and then the complement. So you could say was not she or wasn't, wasn't were not uh, or she weren't. Wasn't. She wasn't, what was that? Okay, I got an example she here. She wasn't in the... She wasn't in the... Say it. Say it. Digo, te digo, it, it wasn't uh, fine. It wasn't fine. Yeah, that's sí. correct. Okay. It wasn't. Okay. It, it, it. Yes. Okay, so my example says, I was not at home, I was at work. So you could say, I was not or I wasn't at home. And she wasn't angry, she was just bored. They were not in a party, they were at their parents' house. And those are my examples, right? Can you make my, more examples using wasn't or weren't? I was in dinner. I was, I was in, at work. I wasn't at dinner. I was at work. Okay. Good. Any other? I was not asleep. I, I was, was not just, sleeping. I was just taking a rest. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. We were not uh, um, height careful. Can you repeat it, please? Okay. We were not we eight uh, food careful. It is seafood. It is seafood. Okay. Seafood. Okay. Good. Any other? More? Okay. Uh, oh, I got another one here. You weren't at the mall. And now I got to practice. Tell me. Excuse me. No quería saber si podría ser alguna. She wasn't go swimming. She wasn't swimming, it would be. She wasn't swimming. That's how you say it. Is that what you're asking about? Yeah. Okay, and so now let's do this practice. I needed to make negative and affirmative sentences. So here you have some prompts. We have some subjects. It, he, the dog, my sister-in-law, Caroline, the weather, we, my siblings. And then we have a some information for making affirmative sentences and some information to make negative sentences. For example, we would say, it was very cold, it wasn't hot. It was very cold, the affirmative sentence, it wasn't hot. Or the second one, how would it be? He was so happy, he, he wasn't was so sad. Happy. He wasn't sad, that's correct. Okay, so that is what I need you to, to do. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms for a moment so you can practice with your classmates, making sentences in both affirmative and negative using the information in the chart. I'm sending the chart to the WhatsApp group. Um, are you ready? Are you ready to yes. go to the breakout rooms? Okay, perfect. So here we go. I'm giving you seven minutes. Okay.
Oh. ¿Quién pueda compartirlo? Yo. Ok. Luis. Y la ca y la cajita que trajo papá. Pues, pues sí, lo voy a volver. Nadie empieza. Bueno, entonces, eh, Hagamos uno cada uno. Vale, ok. It was very happy. No, la primera. La primera. It, it, it was very happy. Very cold. Very cold. Oh. Ay, perdón, si sí es cierto. Tiene mucha razón. Is, sí, tiene que ser. It was very cold. Mm -hmm. It was. Oh, it's, it wasn't. Ahí está. Wasn't. Mm -hmm. Ahí está. <laughs> Okay. It was very cold. It wasn't hot. Mm -hmm. Next. It, he was so happy. He wasn't sad. Excellent. Mm -hmm. See. You? Mm, he was so happy. Cool. Yeah, it's once very cool. It's wasn't hot. Y yeah, el negativo sería. It wasn't hot. It was. Wasn't. Hot. Wasn't. Uh huh. Hot. Sí. Okay. In the second he. He was so happy, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Yes. He was so happy. In the negative, sad. He wasn't sad. Oh. He wasn't sad. He wasn't sad. The second, the dog. The dog. Sería was. Was, was ¿verdad? Was, ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. The dog was was. What's the negative, uh -huh. the dog was, ¿cómo was se dice it? el negativo? Wasn't. Wasn't, Wasn. okay. The, dos, the dog wasn't. Slow. Slow. Oh. Wasn't, wasn't, wasn't. Wasn't. The, wasn't. the second, my sister in love. Y, y eso ahí como es, es humana y qué es en leyes, cómo es eso. Cuñada. ¿Cómo? Mi cuñada. Cuñada. Ah, cuñada. Mi sister in law. Mi sister in law. Mm. In law. Was. Mi cuñada. Was. Was. Was porque está, porque está hablando de she. Uh -huh. De ella. Con suegro sería el complemento. Oh, sister in law would be cuñada. Cuñada. Yes. So your mother-in-law, suegra, and then we have father-in-law, suegro. Your in-laws, suegro. Entonces sería my sister was Canada. My sister-in-law was in Canada. My sister-in-law was in Canada. My sister-in-law. ¿Cómo se traduce eso, Tisha? Mi cuñada. O sea, ah, es la sister in law es cuñada. Yes, that's right. Is that? Oh, okay. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. 
Entonces, y sería negativa. My sister, my sister in law wasn't Italy. Wasn't in Italy. In Italy. Yes. Okay. The other is Caroline was. Caroline was. Caroline was studying. Uh -huh. And Caroline wasn't wasn't teacher. A teacher. A teacher. Yes. Yes. The, the water was raining. The weather was rainy. Rainy. The water wasn't wasn't so sunny. Sería we were classmates. We we were classmates. We were in friends. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué significa eso? Dice my siblings. Siblings, that is your brothers and sisters together. So if you only say brothers, it's boys. Sisters, it's girls. And both sisters and brothers, siblings. Get it? No. Ok, hermanos, pero incluyendo a ambos, hermanos y hermanas. Okay. Porque si decimos uh, brothers, es solo hombres, hermanos. Si decimos sisters, sería solamente mujeres. Pero si son ambos, hermanos y hermanas, podemos llamarlos siblings. Ah, uh, ok. Ok. Hello everyone. Do you have any questions about the practice we were doing? Yes, teacher. Tell me. It was very cool. Uh -huh. It wasn't hot. That's right. Okay. Any questions, any doubts about it? He no. wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. He wasn't sad. Okay, good. All right. Uh, because of the time, we are going to stop here and we can check it tomorrow. I'm going to take attendance. So we can leave. And let me see. Okay, Ingrid Carolina Sanchez. Present teacher. Thanks. Jennifer Noemi. Thank you. Jocelyn Asiria. Jocelyn Asiria Romero. Okay. Joana Raquel Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Julia Maritza Bautista. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Elizabeth Calderón. Karen Elizabeth. Ok. Karen Stephanie Argueta. Karen Stephanie Argueta. Ok. Carla Iris Martínez. Good. Carla Vanessa González. I'm here. Thank you. Katia Lisbeth Arriola. Present. Thank you. Crisia Magdalena. Present teacher. 
Alright, Luis Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis Alonso. Present. Okay, Luis Carlos. Luis Carlos Guevara. Present. Thank you, Luis, eh, sorry, Luz Marina Hernández. Present. Okay, Mayra Lorena Portillo. Present. Thank you, Manuel Aristides Murcia. Present. Thanks, Marco Antonio Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you, Marco. María del Carmen Jorge. Present teacher. All right. María José Abrego. Present teacher. Thank you. María José Martínez. I'm here teacher. Thanks. Marlene Guadalupe Berríos. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Lilian Guevara. Present. Okay. Marvin Joseph. Present teacher. All right. Mayra Roxana Vilorio. Present teacher and good night. Thank you. Good night. Melissa Arely. Present. Thanks. Melvin Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Milagro Elizabeth. Present teacher. All right. Nancy Carolina. Nancy Carolina Mengíbar. Oscar Giovanni Ortega. Okay, thank you, Nancy. Oscar. Present, present teacher. Okay, thanks, Oscar. And how about Jose Atilio Flores? Jose Atilio Flores, not here. Okay. All right, so that will be all for today's class. If you are still missing any work in the platform, please continue doing it. Remember, we got until tomorrow to complete it. So take care, everybody. Have a good night and sure. sleep well. One question. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Teacher, cuando, cuando ocupa, ocupamos good night, siblings, teacher. Siblings, como decía. Oh, siblings, it's for both sisters and brothers. So if you say sisters, it's only women, only girls. If you say brothers, it's only boys or only men. Boys. Sister, and only then brother. if you have both uh, brothers and sisters, you could say siblings. So Little. that includes both. Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you, You're teacher. Welcome. Okay, no problem, take care, bye. Bye. Bye, 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 good night. Thank you.